What's up guys, you're watching Dan's how-to videos and today we are continuing the how-to series on the iPhone 5. I'm going to show you guys today how to watch movies and TV on the iPhone using a simple app. Let's get started. So the app I was talking about is called Justin TV and it's available in the App Store so you can go ahead and pick that up. There will be a link in the description. Now this is a paid app and I don't usually review them, but this has been an app I've been using since my first generation iPod Touch. It's probably my most used and favorite app, so I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys exactly what it's all about. Now when you first go into the app, you're basically set up with this page. This is your categories page. You've got all the different sections at the bottom that you can go through. But usually when I go into this app, I just go to the categories and entertainment section. This is going to get you all your movies, all your TV shows, and they're all going to be categorized in different sections. Now right now I have it categorized in movies because that's what I was watching. But if you go to the all section, you can see there's different movies and TV shows. You've got South Park, American Dad. You've got Seinfeld, you've got Shark Tank, Jackie Chan movies. If you keep going, there's just hundreds and hundreds in this section. You've got The Simpsons, and you can categorize them or filter them in different sections. Like I said, if you want to just watch movies, you just go to movies. It'll go through all the movies. You can go to comedy, radio stations, music. And there's tons of them here that you can just go to. Let's go ahead and jump into the movie section here and just take a look. You've got new releases, you've got 2011 and 2012 movies. I'm just gonna quickly tap on that and show you guys how that looks. Now, just to let you guys know, this is not optimized for the iPhone 5. You're gonna have the iPhone 4 uh, dimensions here until they update it for the iPhone 5. But that's basically how it looks. It's pretty good for quality in terms of what you're watching, depending on the movie but uh, it does have a little bit of a darkness to it because of the camera here. Now another one of my favorite sections in the categories tab here is the sports section. And I found this really cool during the Euro Cup and World Cup games because you could actually watch live soccer games as they were happening. Now they got a couple of playing right now, this one right here, we'll just take a quick look. And the live streams work just as good as the videos. All of them are pretty much live streams, but uh, some of them are just being recorded and taped over and over and over. And uh, people are playing them different ways but these ones that are actually being filmed live they work pretty good the streams are pretty good you just got to understand that the languages sometimes are in different they're not in English they're in Spanish or in Chinese depending on where they are being filmed from so keep that in mind but usually for sports events it's not a really big deal as long as you can see the players doing what they do the following tab is pretty standard, it's just like following someone on Twitter. You follow someone and then when you tap on the following section you can see their videos that are up right now. So if you like somebody's posts that they're always posting good movies or good sports events or anything, follow them, go into this tab and you can just go right to their videos right away. Now the search tab, it doesn't work very well because people don't really title their things well here. If I typed office, really I wanted to watch the office, but as you can see I'm getting all kinds of different you know, videos, so I don't really use the search feature that much. In the more section, you have more about the app, you have more apps, and you can actually create an account. But because I have an account, it just says sign out. You also have a settings tab at the top, which will allow you to connect it with your Facebook, with your Twitter. You can change the video quality from normal to high. Usually I have it on high because I usually watch this through Wi-Fi. If you have a data plan or anything, you definitely want to go to normal, so this doesn't eat up your data and uh, cost you a lot of money. You can uh, specifically make the channels uh, to English or whatever language you want so it'll filter them through and make sure that they're getting in your language and again you can set it up to share it with everything automatically. So this is what it'll look like in the app store. It's actually called Justin.tv but if you type in Justin TV you'll find it. I will put the link in the description as I said. Now this is basically everything you need to know about the app that I showed you. If you want to watch TV on your iPhone this is the way to go. I've had this app forever and uh, it's a great app. It always works and they fix the bugs honestly really quickly because I remember at one time the iPhone was having an issue where the screen was going completely black when you would watch the movie you'd have audio and they fixed that really quickly which was great and uh, it's got decent reviews it's got three and a half out of five which is great and it's got 407 reviews the one downfall with this app is it's a little bit expensive but for what you're getting it's worth it especially if you don't have a TV in your room or something you know watching some movies or some TV shows while you're in your room before bed it's awesome trust me anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this if you did hit the like button down below that helps me out and helps support my channel also subscribe up top for more videos like this one and I will see you guys in the next one